Uh, on uh, normally on uh, New Year's, I start reading, you know, my cycle of reading in our dojo, and I usually start uh, with uh, Shomen, or in particular, in addition to that, variations on ni or Ikkyo, because Ikkyo is number one uh, technique, so it's important if you can do Ikkyo, then you can do Nikyo, Sankyo, and all, all the rest. So, a couple things, uh, nuances on, on Ikkyo in particular. Uh, say we get this initial move, I start my spine where I come in. Now, when I take, everything works, again, in conjunction with one another. But it's very important to get on Ikkyo, to get your thumb under the belly of the bicep. This is the crucial point for this technique. If you're holding somebody up here, and it's very, like I said, it's younger, stronger, grass, I can't even move them from here. But when this changes, that's the point where the dynamic changes, and that's what makes the difference in, their, in changing the equation to your benefit. So be sure that you grab, regardless of where you take your kill from, that you get under the pulley of the bicep. You can bend the arm here, take the arm, it doesn't matter, but this is the grip, and you move, you created the structure. Now you move behind your structure. The dynamics, the geometry of your structure has to be very strong and based on proper, you know, body mechanics and leverage. Yeah. And, uh, and on pinning, I recommend on this type of pin to go straight across their shoulders this way. The reason why, uh, and to keep, in other words, if I'm using my right hand, I use my right leg. If you use your left leg here, and somebody comes from this direction, you're landlocked. It's very hard for you to get out of this. Very seldom uh, would you have any choice but maybe to get knocked over your partner you're holding down. Or if you stand like this, it's not a good position for this, this pin. Because again, you can go over your partner. But this way, I can pin and I can move in any direction. Does that make sense to you? Keep it in mind. You can do what you like and what you can train to do, but do that certainly consideration. So, let's do the technique again, and be sure that you get the grip under the belly of the bicep. You put the hand up, and it doesn't have to be, it's not a harsh uh, grip. It's here, it's projected. It's like you create a, a ring here, uh, like a band, and you, you put it here. I don't try to squeeze his arm tight. I, I just hook up and, and project. Okay? When you put that band and keep it projected, this is what gives you the leverage. This is what you want. You want to always destroy their structure. Okay? Please try.